All right, so it's been a while since we've uploaded Goals Breakdown. Shout out to Apple for blocking the videos from getting posted. So hopefully you guys are able to watch this video now, and hopefully we have no problems in the future. But we're going to go ahead and break down the goals from the Philadelphia Union New England Revolution's Game 1 playoff match. Uh, this first goal comes courtesy of a Daniel Godzak penalty kick. And uh, this is a good job here by the Union. A couple things I want to point out here before the Union turned New England over. So Spalding's going to be on the ball for New England. And you, you can see you have Ali Bedoya going towards the ball. Joel Lane Kranz is facing towards the ball. But he can also break off and go to the left towards Romney if Spalding is going to go ahead and select that pass. You also have Daniel Gazdag on the back of his attacker, Mark Anthony K. But notice, Matt Polster, he's pointing to Spalding, saying, play the pass to Romney. And Spalding is going to opt to go for this pass into Carlos Hill. And Jose Martinez does a terrific job just marking him and intercepting this pass and then sending the Union on the counterattack here. Uh, New England do a really good job to get back in position here after they turn the ball over. And this is just good hustle here by Jack McGlynn to keep this ball alive. Brandon By kicks it off from McGlynn, and Julian Kronza gets to the ball first. Potential penalty. No call by the referee. The Union play on. Great ball in by Mikhail Ua, and Daniel Gazdag misses a free header. Cannot have that. After the Union turn New England over, you see Julian Kronza get taken out by Jackson. No call by the referee yet if this is going to be a penalty or not. Ball finds its way to Mikhail Ua, and Daniel Gazak has to do better with this free header. But you can see right here, just Julian Kranza, the hustle here to go to this ball. And uh, we'll get a closer look right here. Julian Kranza actually does make contact with the ball first, and Jackson takes him out. Look at Bobby Wood there on the sidelines. He knows it. He can't believe it. He's like, we've just given up a penalty. He knows. <laughs> Daniel Gaz like steps up here. Will he make it 20 for 20? Yes, he does. Sends Jackson the wrong way. Union up 1-0 within the first 19 minutes of game one of the first round series between the Union and New England. Just a terrific penalty kick here by Daniel Gazag. And a play that started with Jose Martinez intercepting the pass, sending the Union on the counterattack, doing a good job man-marking Carlos Hill. And the hustle from Jack and Glenn and Julian Carranza. Again, Jackson takes out Julian Carranza. Daniel Gaz like steps up in a big situation like he has all season long for the Union. Puts the Union one burward early in the first half, 1 0. All right, so this is goal two from the match. This one courtesy of Mikel Ua. So we have Jose Martinez on the ball, out wide in Nate Harriel. Back to Jose Martinez, and nobody closes down Jose so he can pick his head, switch the ball to the left-hand side to an unmarked Kai Wagner, who thought about playing the long ball up top to Mikel, opts for the pass back to Jack McGlynn, and McGlynn with a beautiful weighted pass to Kai. Ball off of Romney, deflects into Mikel Ua, and th this is just a beautifully worked play by the Union. Yes, Mikel Ua is a little bit fortunate that he was able to get the rebound here. But look, you, you got to make those runs. you got to be an option. And that's exactly what Mikel Ua did here on this play. But th this is beautiful from Jose Martinez to Kai Wagner to Jack McGlynn back to Wagner. You can see the switch back to Wagner here. And Kai Wagner sees, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and lay this off to Jack McGlynn. And Jack McGlynn just with a beautiful weighted it pass. Couldn't have played that any better. Yeah, the cross you would have hoped to be a little bit better from Kai Wagner, but I think because of the speed of the cross, it has enough power to flex off of Romney, and uh, Mikael Uwe just there, right place, right time. A little bit unfortunate here for New England, but, I mean, the passing from those three midfielders, Martinez, McGlynn, and Wagner, well executed by the Philadelphia Union. All right, so this is the third goal of the match. This one comes courtesy of a Nate Harriel header off of a Kai Wagner free kick here. And Nate Harriel on this play goes completely unmarked. Ball whipped in by Kai. Free header for Nate Harriel in the back of the net after scoring last weekend in the last regular season match of the season, which was then rolled off. Nate Harriel finally gets his goal against New England. 
this time to make it 3-0 Union all in the first half. The Union cruising in the first half of this round one of playoffs against the Revolution. And I know there were some Revolution fans on social media calling for an offsides here. And it's just really difficult to tell if Nate was off or if Nate was on. Uh, I'll try my best. This is the best angle I can give you guys. Uh, You can see Kai Wagner's kicking the ball. Is Mark Anthony K's elbow keeping Nate Harrier on or not? From this, it does kind of look like Nate's offsides, but wasn't enough, I suppose, to overturn this call and the Union have the third goal here with Nate Harrier. I mean, it's a perfect delivery by Kai Wagner into Nate. Nate, I've said it so many times on the podcast, is the most athletic player on the Union team. The biggest threat on set pieces, both defensively and offensively for the Union. And when's the last time we've seen both fullbacks for the Union combine for a goal and Nate Harriel just gets up there, rises, first man to the ball, 3-0 Union. All right, so this is the fourth and final goal in this match. This one comes courtesy of New England Revolution's Gustavo Bo. As you guys can see, this comes off of a goal kick from Jackson. Bobby Wood's going to go ahead and win this 50-50 ball over Damian Lowe. And once this ball falls to Nate Harriel, he gets the ball taken off his foot by Veroni here. Ball into Gustavo Bo. Jack Elliott does a good job to slow him down, catch up, but nifty little footwork by Bo. Way too easy, poor defending by Jack Elliott and Nate Harriel. And New England Revolution get their first and final goal in this match. But the Union, all in all, have to do a better job here on this play. And it starts with Damian Lowe maybe being a little bit stronger on Bobby Wood, not letting him win this 50-50 ball. But as soon as that ball falls to Nate Harriel, he's got to clear this. Not sure if he's hesitating thinking about a pass. Not he- not sure if he's hesitating once to dribble. But regardless, gets the ball stolen off his foot. And like I mentioned, I mean, this is a good recovery by Jack Elliott, but j- just way too easy with Bo. Good footwork, but there's no reason why Bo should get by two defenders here. Just really, really poor defending. And all in all, it doesn't matter. The Union still win this game. But when you concede in 62% of your home games at home, got to be better. All right, so I want to highlight two saves here by Andre Blake in this game. These were Andre's biggest saves of the night. Uh, The first one comes in the ninth minute. New England Revolution are going to have a couple chances here. Uh, the Revs could have taken the early lead here if Noel Buck didn't hit the post. And then the other save we'll see in the second half of the game, uh, that's a great save by Andre Blake on Bobby Wood, which would have made this game 3-2. Yes, the Union still would have been up, but then we really would have seen New England pushing forward, and who knows what would have happened. So here's the first save right here. It's a ball in by Mark Anthony K. It's blocked by Damian Lowe, off the post by Noel Buck. Uh, Jose Martinez and Nate Harriel there have got to do a better job communicating. That There's no reason why Buck should have been able to get behind, and you can see just New England still fighting for this ball, that they're still coming at the Union with a chance. Clearance by Damian Lowe, but New England win this ball, and you know the pressure is still going to be on the Union here, and nobody's really pressuring the ball. It's a ball up top by Farrell. And New England just still coming on the attack. Gustavo Bo gets free of Jack Elliott. That That's a, an opportunity you don't want to give up right there if you're the Union. Right there, the block. And Martinez does just enough to throw off Buck. You see, save there by Damian Lowe. But, I mean, just chaos within the first nine minutes of this game. And then the chance by Bo. Probably should have put this one on target, but uh, New England were making things interesting here at, right at the start of this game, and uh, fortunately for the Union, they don't concede. Here's that second save that I was talking about, Andre Blake on Bobby Wood. Off of a throw-in, New England do a good job working this ball, and Boateng is going to pick his head. Nobody pressures him and sees the run of Bobby Wood splits between Nate Harriel and Damian Lowe. It's a terrific save there by Andre Blake. It's a terrific run by Bobby Wood, but again, just a little bit of a communication issue here by the Union defensively, and the Union get built out by Andre Blake, and 
<laughs> we say it all the time without Andre Blake, where would the union be? One of the best goalkeepers in MLS. Again, just like we saw last weekend in New England, nobody picked up Carlos Gill. He was able to pick his head quite a few times, pick out a pass. We see a similar situation here, this time with Boateng. But a terrific save by Andre Blake to uh, keep this a two-goal lead for the Union.